Today we are going to show you how to make hanky dolls. The over 10 children would have had plenty of these little dolls to play with and they would have actually made their own. Now we don't really know where the hanky doll originated from, but we have heard of multiple different cultures um, having their own, their kind of own take on the doll. Uh, like in Japan, they were called Terra Terra Bozu, and they believed that they hung these little dolls up in the windows on a rainy day that the sun would come out. Terra Terra Bozu translates to little round head. Uh, but the Overton children and other children during this time period would have been able to make their hanky dolls out of old handkerchiefs, um, you know, putting in some cotton or scraps of fabric to make the head, of course having some string or twine to tie it. Uh, they also could have used some scraps of fabric from the fabric bin. Uh, lots of homes would have had uh, a fabric, scrap fabric bin, um, where, you know, moms who were quilting would throw in their little scraps that were too small to use, and the children could take some of those to make their own toys out of. Oftentimes, they were called church dolls because they don't make a sound when they're dropped. Church services could last kind of a long time, especially for young kids uh, to sit through. And so oftentimes they would take these little dolls with them to play with at church, and if they dropped it on that hard floor, it wouldn't make a sound and wouldn't disrupt the service. So the supplies that you will need for this activity are an eight by eight inch square piece of fabric, usually white, and you're gonna need three cotton balls. You will need um, a decorative piece of fabric that you can cut in a six by six inch square and then cut down the middle to make a triangle. And then you will also need a piece of string. And some markers at the end because you can draw a face on your hanky doll. So the first step is to take your square piece of fabric and your three cotton balls. You're going to hold your square piece of fabric, I like to say flat like a pancake, in your hand, in the palm of your hand. You're going to take your three cotton balls and put them into the center of that square, so kind of in the palm of your hand. Then you're going to close your hand up over those cotton balls and flip your uh, piece of fabric over and you can kind of straighten out the edges a bit. They need to be straightened out. Then you're going to take your thumb and your pointer finger with your other hand and gather them right underneath those cotton balls, kind of to make the hanky doll's neck. Next step is to take your string and you're just going to tie that around the neck. And this is where I like to have a friend help me out. Sometimes it's easier if someone else holds the hanky doll while you tie the string. You're just going to tie it a knot or a bow, whatever you want to do. And then once you have that tied around, you're going to take your colored piece of fabric, your triangle, and you're going to tie that around the neck. Just tie it right here. Now, a lot of kids here have also made them into superheroes. They've made them into capes. Um, you can make it to a dress as well and just tie it around the front. And then your finished product should look similar to this.